the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So let's start by creating a new WPF app and fill out the project properties. Let's select the window and change its properties. Let's first change the allow transparency and change the resize mode to no resize. Now let's change the width and height. Let's change the width to 450 and height to 500 and run the application. Okay, now let's start adding the elements. First, let's add an image. So let's search the image control and place it on the window. Change its source. Select the image from the desired folder. Now, here I am resizing the image and placing it. Let's select the window and change its background by selecting the uh, dropper tool and selecting the color of the image. Now let's select a rectangle and change its radius and make it a rounded rectangle. Also let's change its color, change its fill to a darker gray and remove the stroke. Let's duplicate it and let's duplicate it one more time. Before that, let's uh, yeah, change the properties and uh, change the color of the last rectangle to a flamingo pink. Now, let's add text box onto the rectangles. Okay, let's duplicate it change its properties first let's remove the background and the border color and then change the vertical content alignment to center and change the font size um, let's do one thing let's delete the second text box and copy the first one let's change the username and the password now let's add one more text block to the last rectangle which will act as a trigger and also as a label let's name it as login let's change the foreground to white and change the font size and place it at the center and increase the size let's also change the alignment to center text alignment to center okay let's run the application So next we'll add a storyboard to animate the whole application. So let's add a storyboard. Now on the first keyframe, select all the controls except the uh, pink rectangle and the uh, dribble image and hide it on the first key. Now on the second keyframe, animate the pink rectangle. So on each frame, let's reduce the uh, rectangle size and also the radius. Now uh, let's start moving the uh, circle which we have converted from the rectangle uh, up and down on each frame. This will create a bouncing effect as if a ball is bouncing on a surface.
let's repeat it once more Okay, now on the next frame, let's enlarge the whole circle into a rectangle and then fill the whole window. So once we are done with that, let's add other controls on top of the pink rectangle. So you can see the animation is working as expected. Now let's stop the animation by closing the storyboard. And let's start adding the other elements. Let's first add a rectangle. will describe which will depict the finish stage of the animation and let's add one more image control and change its source and position it at the center now next we shall add two text blocks Let's change the font size and the text. Resize it and position it at the center. Now let's copy the first text block and change its font size and the text. Now we are ready with the post animation screens. So let's select the three controls that we have added. Sorry, the four controls and change its visibility to hidden. And now let's select the storyboard again. And on the last animation or the last keyframe, make all the four controls visible. Run the animation okay. now let's close the storyboard and set the triggers for that let's select the login text block and uh, change the trigger so there you go guys our login animation is ready